and how much Allah likes the fear of Allah and crying out of the fear of Allah. In Bukhari is a hadith narrates the Prophet said that the two drops which Allah likes the most. The first is the drop of blood of a martyr at the time of martyrdom and second is the drop of tear from the eyes of a believer when he cries for the fear of Allah. And the two eyes which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes and loves the most and honors the most are number one is the eye which I mentioned yesterday also the eye which keeps on the watch and the look out to protect the boundaries of an Islamic state and the second eye is the eye of believer who cries due to the fear of Allah who clear who who cries who cries out to the fear of Allah of the sins which he has committed which might make him might make him be one of the people of hellfire and how important these tears are Hazrat Abdullah bin Masood radiyallahu ta'ala anhu reports in Ibn Majah the Prophet sallallahu said the tears that fall from the eyes of a true believer out to the fear of Allah and they roll down his face however little they are however little they are even if they are as the size of the head of a fly they shall prevent the fire of the hell touching the face the hadith promises that the fire of the hell has been forbidden on the face which has been touched by the tears flowing due to the fear of Allah how much Allah loves the bondsmen who fear him who cry out to the fear of Allah Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to very frequently ask and supplicate these words Allahumma hasibna hisab yasira He used to supplicate for an easy accountability and one day Hazrat Aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala and who and how who used to very frequently listen to these words one day she asked Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and she asked Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what do you mean by easy accountability in hisab and yasira prophet sallam said aisha it means that there is no accountability that the person is not interrogated and then hazrat aisha radhiyallahu ta'ala and ha asked o messenger of allah will there be people who will enter jannah without any accountability are they going to be certain lucky people Are there going to be certain lucky people who are going to enter Jannah without any accountability? Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Yes, O Aisha, the people who enter the Jannah without any accountability will be the people who when they are all by themselves in their solitude, when they are all by themselves alone and they remember their sins." and they cry out of the fear of Allah these will be the people who will be allowed to or who will be permitted to enter jannah without any accountability